Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how we can use CoSpaces to start building um, our own 3D home. So for this we're going to need a floor plan that we're going to base our work off and you have two options. You could either, if you've got a floor plan on paper, just have it next to you and use it as a guide or if you've managed to scan it into your computer or if you have downloaded a floor plan from say Google Classroom, then you can actually import the image of a floor plan as your stage image and that means that you can lay things directly over them over that plan within CoSpaces and that's the method I'm going to use. So to do that we need to go uh, into our environment in our new space. So I click on that and where it says stage image I'm going to click on that picture to upload an image and I've already downloaded one um, from Google Classroom so I'm going to load that in and it will replace the bottom of my uh, 3D world with my floor plan, which at this stage, it doesn't look very good. It's a bit blurry, but it's actually very useful. So if I now tilt my camera angle and I zoom out, I should be able to see my whole world is my floor plan. And I can use this as the basis for building my home. So it doesn't particularly matter that it's upside down. Um, what does matter is that I can see everything I need to see from that floor plan. So let's start by putting some walls in um, to show the sort of outline of our house. So let's go to the library and under a building I'm going to choose the brick wall. Okay, so I drag a brick wall on and just close it down for now. Now to start with that brick wall is pretty small uh, so I can make it a bit a bit. Uh, wider or longer as it happens I probably want to make it that's probably a bit better a bit thinner and longer one thing I didn't show you which I should have done is this snapping control here I can say that I want to snap to the grid I can click the grid off and then I can place my objects anywhere but to help with placement I'm going to have the grid snapping on and I'm going to snap to um, either a meter or half a meter or a quarter of a meter Given the scale of the project we're working with, a metre or half a metre might be enough. So I can now drag my, um, uh, my wall. I'm going to sort of place it along this back wall here. So I'm going to use my move tool and then I can click it and I should be able to place it along that back wall. And if I now hold space, I can pan a little bit. Here we go. And I'm going to click off move and now I can go back to resizing again. So I can drag this to be the entire width of the back wall. Okay. And if I now sort of change my, rotate my view, you can see I've put a wall there. Uh, but it's going to need to be a bit taller. So let's pull up. So now I've got a nice tall back wall to my house. Okay. Let's try and put some more walls in. So let's go uh, down this side here. So um, I can just right click on this wall and duplicate it, which gives me another one. And then I can rotate it. So if I use my rotation tool, I'm going to rotate it along the blue axis, which is going to rotate it round. And I go back to my move tool and now I can move it. And I can move it back a little bit and just place it up against the other wall. And you do have to be quite careful that the walls are lining up. Um, so just take your time. This is where having the snapping on really helps. Okay, so this one can be made a little bit smaller. So I'll pull it in uh, to say there. Okay, and that's place that wall. Now, in some places, like along here, there are actually um, windows showing. And uh, windows aren't such a big problem because we can put a glass wall inside our current wall or we can mask um, a space in that wall. But wherever there's a door, we're going to need to leave a physical gap. So let's put uh, another wall along here. So I'm going to click, uh, right click, duplicate. I'm going to pull this wall over. Oops, I've made it bigger. Didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to undo. I need to move. Now I can pull it along to this side and I'm going to make it smaller. So it fits just in there. And then I'm going to want another wall. So right click, duplicate. And I'm going to take, uh, move this one. Oh, that's scale, isn't it? Oops, that was a mistake. I'm still getting a bit confused as to the different controls here. So don't be upset if you're the same position. Okay, we need to um, rotate this one. Again on the blue. And move it. And I'm going to place it 
just here, if I can. But, crucially, it's quite hard to place exactly where I want it here. It's proving a bit difficult. It seems to be going anywhere but exactly where I want it, so maybe I can... Ah, maybe I can change my snapping and say I want to snap to a smaller amount. That might help. There we go, perfect. Now, if I just move around a little bit, I can see, let's go from this side, that there should have been a bit of a door there. So I'm going to resize this so it goes just to there, so that that leaves room for a doorway. And then I can duplicate. And so hopefully, I'm not going to show you the entire thing here because that would be a bit boring, um, if it's not boring already. But what I'm hoping you'll see from this is that actually by using a floor plan as your stage um, image, then placing the pieces that make up uh, the walls of the house is actually not that hard. And once we've got the external walls done, we need to do the internal walls, and then we can start filling in different objects and stuff. And if you want to explore your little house, you've got your camera, so we can put the camera wherever we need to put it, press play, and we'll be able to look around and you can actually go around inside your house and you can get a sense of what it looks like. At the moment, we've only got a couple of walls, but there's the door. So we could actually go over to that door and hopefully we'll be able to go through it. Um, it looks a little bit like, proportionally, my walls are a bit too tall, so I might go around and making them a bit smaller. But I can go through the door and I can turn around and I can, should be able to go backwards from there. There we go, so that's now a doorway into my house. And I can inspect all of my other walls. Yeah, look at that. The perspective tells me that is way too high. It's more like a prison than a home. So I might want to make my house a little bit less tall. Okay, so that is um, my introduction to how you can create or start to create a house um, in CoSpaces using a floor plan um, that you've downloaded from the internet or that you've drawn yourself and scanned in or photographed in. Um, in order to create a, a home that you'll be able to explore and go around using your VR headsets.